Okay, my first big coaching job was being Eric Ten Hag's assistant coach at Manchester United. I then left to start my own manager career. First stop was Inter Miami in the MLS, where we coached Lionel Messi, and we also made Miami the best team in MLS. But now it's time for us to prove that we can be a successful manager without Messi, without David Beckham helping, building a team ourselves, trying to show that we have the potential to be the best manager of all time. We're leaving the comforts of Inter Miami, going off on our own into Europe. This is our time to truly prove we have what it takes to be a manager. So drop a like down below if you want to see more of this series and let's get into it. So we're waking up in our Miami apartment. We've lived here for a year. Now, sadly, this is our final day living in this apartment. We're moving. The stuff is all packed up. Fergie's excited. But before we leave Miami, we have to announce that we are leaving Inter Miami. So we hold a press conference and we say that we'll always be grateful to Inter Miami for giving us a chance in our first ever manager job. But I'm stepping down as manager to pursue opportunities in Europe. But Inter Miami is in good hands with new coach Tata Martino. And after that Messi wishes us good luck saying that he'll be watching wherever we go and then we say our goodbyes to David Beckham he says if you ever need anything let me know and to stay in touch so now it's time to drive to the airport we arrive with Fergie and we board the plane heading to our next destination now a number of hours later the plane lands and the flight attendant says welcome to Belgium yep that is right Fritz Roman reports that Anderlecht have found their new coach and that this struggling Belgium side looks to recover now under the former Inter Miami boss and then later that day we walk into the Anderlecht office for the first time, being officially welcomed as their new manager. Now, first, we meet with Anderlecht's sporting director, Jesper Fredberg, and he says we're going to get to know each other well here, so he looks forward to working together. And now it's time for our introductory press conference as Anderlecht manager. We say that we are extremely excited to be here. This is a great club, a lot of great history, and I'm looking forward to helping Anderlecht become, once again, the best team in Belgium. Oh man, for the first time in the series, we have joined a new team, and the Journeyman series continues. Now, we are very, very far from home. Now, the MLS season ended in November, or so we're joining Anderlecht already mid-season and I'll say this they haven't had the best of starts Anderlecht currently sit 10th in the Jupiler Pro League and we are nine points off Royal Antwerp in first so our job here I don't think it's gonna be an easy one and last year Anderlecht finished I think like 12th so we are not in any like European football competition yet but our goal in this first season I guess this first half season is to get into either the Champions League or the Europa League with Anderlecht and the board wants us to fight for the league title and also win the Jupiler Pro League within two years so big goals big expectations this will be our toughest job yet. Now, first comment today, we'll be looking to bring back Miller to your new team as he solidified himself as a top quality defensive rock. Yeah, so we talked about going to a new team and then bringing players from our old team to the new team. I feel like Kamal Miller would actually suit this team a lot. The issue is we already have like three or four really good center backs, so I'm not sure how we would quite fit. But since we're in November, we're like two months away from the January window, so we're probably going to be in the trans window in the next episode. So we'll see. I think whatever team you end up going to, you should keep Jorgensen with you as he has a bright future ahead of him. Yeah, the next Erling Holland we found at Inter Miami. Now, I would like to bring him to this team Anderlecht, but it might make more sense for Jorgensen to stay into Miami and play with Messi like another season because that experience might help him a lot later in his career so there's a chance but I'm not exactly sure about Jorgensen now last comment is saying to join PSV and also bring Jorgensen to PSV now we've made the jump from MLS to the Jupiler Pro League in Belgium we're trying to go towards more like a realistic path to the top if we can even get there but the Eredivisie is a league that I think I want to coach in at some point could be our next team maybe and Sammy Jorgensen in the Eredivisie that might suit him better in a couple years so it's something to think about down the line but for now let's focus on our new team and I'm very excited about it because this team they have struggled a lot to start the season but i still see so much potential in this squad so let's introduce our new team now our starting keeper is timon wellen ruther oh man i'm gonna struggle with these names a lot but he's 26 years old 72 rated i mean not the greatest we probably need a new keeper i think at left back we have musa and diet now our fullback spots some of the weakest in the team but musa is only 20 years old so maybe there's some potential there now starting center back is zeno de bast again I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but only 19 years old, he has potential to be a pretty good center back. And he's paired up with Jan Vertonghen, the former Spurs captain. Now having a player like this experienced in the back is a big reason why we chose Anderlecht. We have a leader in this team. At right back, we have Luis Patrice, a new signing this season. Again, not the highest rated, but young and has potential. At CDM, we have Amadou Diawara. Now, I believe he was playing for Roma before and he is for sure a solid CDM. Next time in the midfield is gonna be Mahid Ashimiru, 25 years old, looks like a very solid box to box mid. Then next to him, we have one of the highest potential players in this team. Yari versus Sharon. Now he's more of an attacking midfielder, but 74 rated, 21 years old. He's one of the biggest prospects in this team. And then right wing, we have Anders Dreyer, 24 years old, 75 overall. He looks very solid. And then at striker, we have new signing Casper Dolberg, which this right here is a very solid striker. He's only 25 years old still. I could see good things happening with Casper Dolberg. And then at left wing, we have Francis Amuzu. Once again, young Belgium winger, who's once again got some like a little bit of decent potential. And we also have players like Del Croy at center back, Benito Raman, the former player from Schalke as a striker slash left winger, Mario Stroikens 
Evans, who looks like a very good like striker slash cam. And then also Marco Kana, who looks like he can play center back, left back, right back, CDM. He can literally play anywhere in the defense. I like the way this team looks a lot. We got young players, we got old players, leaders in the team. There's so much potential here. And we're going to try to unlock that potential. Now, like I said, we're like a month and a half away from the January trans window. So we get like a month and a half to assess the team, play a few games, see what this team needs the most in January, in which our budget is 19 million for January. I mean, that's a healthy amount. It's not too high, but it's not like nothing. And this right here is our starting transfer shortlist, which of course I'm going to need you guys suggestions for who to sign in this team. I've tried to add a lot of players from Belgium who make sense. But you guys let me know who should we sign to Anderlecht. Speaking of that, we meet with sporting director Jesper Fredberg and he says, do you have any plans for your first signing? And we say that we're already working on it actually. And we might have something soon. Now, since it's like middle of the season, we get no time to like rest. We already have our first game as Anderlecht manager, but of course we got to explain how we're going to play with this team, our tactics. So we're going to start with a 4-3-3 holding. That's going to be our starting point. Obviously it could change very quick. Now in terms of tactics, I want to keep my Inter Miami tactics where we pressure every touch. We try to play with a higher line. I think to start, I'm going to go at 55. And then if we play good, try and raise that, but we'll see. And then fast build up and forward runs. Now instructions, we have the fullbacks on overlap. We have Diawara on stay back. Uh, Versharen's on free roam. And then Amuzu, Dryer both on getting behind and cut inside. And Dolberg's on stay central and getting behind as well. We got these young players, a lot of energy. So I want them bombing forward and get into the attacking third. Of course, ultimate difficulty. We got custom sliders. We showed off in episode one. Now before our first game, Captain Vertonghen gives a press conference and he says the team is very excited about our arrival. We've already injected energy into the team and he thinks that we will turn this season around. So that is the first lineup we field as Anderlecht boss. Now the team we're facing is, oh man, okay, Cass Yupin. Things will be mispronounced, but our first game as a manager in Europe, let's see what the boys can do. Oh man, there's us with our new team for the very first time. And also very nice, we get to play our first game in our home stadium in front of our new home fans. Now we got to try and give them a good show in our first game because this team is struggling already. We don't want to make it worse. So first game as Anderlecht boss, we are kicked off. This could be the start of something very special here in Belgium. And I do like the way this team looks a lot, so I'm kind of excited. See how good we play. Is Dryer onside? Is he onside already? He's going to shoot and keeper saves it. Okay. I mean, that's a decent start. Now Versharen is taking the corners, which is good because he's got good stats from a corner. Vertonghen! Vertonghen scores already! That is the first goal! Four minutes into our reign as Anderlecht boss, we are up 1-0. And who else other than the captain scoring? Okay, this is a beautiful start. Great delivery from Versharen, and then Vertonghen just climbs, and it's a beautiful header. What a start! Okay, let's keep this up now. Now, I think in this team, the attack is a lot better than the defense in terms of, like, overall stats, but okay, Patrice has a good tackle. It's probably Patrice, not Patrice. Or Patrice, bro, I don't know these names. But here he is, into Versharen. Versharen, good first touch. Now, Dolberg is a cross option. Amuzu? Not quite. The cross wasn't that bad, though. All right, first 50 minutes have been all Anderlecht. Yawara into Dryer. Dryer to play it to Versharen. He's going to try and shoot. He just got sandwiched and crunched, though. Okay, the refs in Belgium are the same as in the MLS. Okay, that's a good ball. This could be their first little attack. Into the box. Okay, this is kind of dangerous. Are they going to cross in? Okay, the dribbling right there was pretty good. Okay, we can't just let him shoot, right? Okay, DeBost, good tackle from our 19-year-old center back. And I liked Vertonghen when he was at Spurs. I feel like he's a very just solid leader, good defensive player. Like, to have him in this team is quite a luxury. All right, the Dyer is making a run into Casper Dahlberg. Tries to make a turn. He does. Goes for the shot. And that goes just wide. All right, not a bad shot from Casper uh, Dahlberg. Dahlberg out to Dreyer again. Dreyer cuts the side. Waits for Dahlberg. Wait for him. Dahlberg down the middle. Okay, that pass didn't work. But this one might. Because that's going to be played into Dahlberg again. He's going to shoot. Keeper, good save. All right, another corner. Are we deadly from corners? Oh, we are deadly from corners. This time it is Casper Dolberg. Okay, first two goals are from set pieces. I'll take it, I guess. When you got Vertong and you got Dolberg, these are players who know how to score with their head. And Versharen's delivery, I mean, that's picture perfect right there. Dolberg into the back of the net. Same spot as Vertong. Okay, 33 minutes in, it's 2 0. Man, there was absolutely some energy injected into this team as we joined. Patrice tries to find Dolberg. Oh, man, that was almost a really good pass. Muzu. Dolberg, Dolberg. Tries to find a Muzu. Okay, that pass didn't quite work. I'm liking what I'm seeing from this team right now, though. Look at our press. Putting pressure on it. I love it. Chance for Ndiaye. Our left back shot. It goes right to the keeper, though. Okay, our first 45 minutes as Anderlecht manager. Two goals from set pieces, but overall, our team just dominated that first half. So far, I am liking what I'm seeing. Now, I don't know how good this team is we're facing, but I feel like they're probably not that good. But hopefully, I didn't just jinx it. Yawara, get it out wide to Patrice. He's going to try and cross this in to Casper Dolberg. Okay, that went off that guy's face. I mean, it's a corner. I'll take it. Now, can we score from three corners in one game? That is Tuber Tongan. Okay, that almost actually fell to a player very fortunately. Okay, this is an issue because we're not kind of behind. Players, I need you guys to sprint. And we track back. Is he going for the pass? No, he goes for the shot. And oh man, that shot was very bad. At least we've rented the uh, tap in. Yabara into uh, Shimiro. Now he is going to have a great dribbling run though. Gets it over to Dryer. He shoots and his shot is 
flying over the net, but still. All right, tag and play. I am liking it right now. Brashearin. Oh, man, Amuzu was making a great run there. Wasn't being behind. Brashearin looks like an absolute baller, though. Feels like another Kevin De Bruyne. Okay. Can someone please mark him? Why did everyone just not mark him? How did this guy find space and everyone just like fell asleep? Okay, it's 2-1. Relax. Okay, he kind of beat our left back. That's kind of why I think. Okay, a tiny slip up. It's fine. It's 2-1 still. That's really like their second chance of the game. So if we continue playing the way we are, we should be okay. Iwara into Ashimito. Now he's going to lose it. That's a bit unfortunate. All right, first up for us is going to be Arnstad coming on for uh, Ashimito. Now he's like a box-to-box -box mid, maybe a bit more attacking wise, but he looks pretty good. Very young. Here he is. I feel like he's kind of like Rashiran, pretty well on the ball, or pretty good on the ball. Now Dolberg. Gets it back to him. He's going to try to get it to Vermeeran. Okay, that pass was horrific. All of a sudden, this team has life. We have given them life. We were in control of the game. I'm seeing why this team may have struggled a little bit without us or before us. Okay, this is dangerous. We can't let him just chill in our box. Thankfully, Amuzu will get that and we're fine. Come on, Amuzu, I need you to use your pace here. Because we will find some space if he uses it, which he does. All right, Vershiran. Can someone go on a cross maybe or go on a run? I was going to try to head that to uh, the fullback, but it did not work. Now, thankfully, Debas is actually kind of quick. And as you saw there, he's got recovery speed. Prior into Vershiran. Vershiran, good dribbling. Actually, great dribbling. And this might lead into it. He's going on a run all by himself, actually. But no one was there to help him. Here we got eight minutes, and we are defending a one-goal lead. You know, sometimes some things just don't change. Come on, five minutes. Needs to be a good pass. Arnstad gets it out to Amuzu. Into India. Okay, Amuzu, what was that pass? I am confused. Let's try this again. Up to Casper Dolberg. Dolberg. Should get it into Dreer for a chance to seal the game. Dreer shoots on his weak foot and he misses. Oh man, we should have sealed the game there though. All right, Ramen, Stroikins, and then Kana are all brought on. We got two minutes. Just hold this lead and we should get a win in our first game. Come on with a header over here and he can also win headers. He can do everything. Okay, Stroikins, that was a little bit sloppy. All right, they got a minute left to do something as long as we hold our lines. We should be good. They're not really rushing here. Okay, we're not giving any option, though. Look at our press. Our press is amazing here, and that's full time. Okay, first half was absolutely perfect. Second half, not so much. But still, in our first game, we get a win. I'm happy with that. Like, I see so much potential in so much of these players and in this whole team. Now, in the dressing room after the game, we say that we really like what we saw from the team. We have dropped our levels a little bit in the second half, but our new season starts now, and a win is a step in the right direction. And now, we're going to make another big step in the right direction because we are working on our first signing already. And the player that we're trying to sign right now now formerly known as one of the best players in the world who has now fallen off significantly we are trying to sign Eden Hazard now Real Madrid just released him so he's a free agent and we'll say this teams are not exactly like trying to sign him that much he's still on the lookout for a new team and he's 31 years old 80 overall still though now we could try and save his career at Anderlecht so we sit down and meet with Eden we say obviously the recent years haven't been that kind to you but I want to help you find your game again so if you sign for us you get to come home start fresh at a new team and if you put in the work I will help you save your career and Eden says it's been very rough in Madrid the past few years. And he's feeling homesick, so he thinks this is the perfect move for him. And just like that, we officially announced the signing of Eden Hazard. As our first signing, we're bringing in one of the biggest Belgium talents, obviously past his prime days, but we're going to try and bring some of that back to revive Eden Hazard's career. So officially, Hazard, welcome to Anderlecht. Now, he's going to slot in perfectly at that left wing spot. So we now have two leaders in the team to experience players, Vertonghen and Hazard, to help all these other younger players. And who knows, maybe Hazard plays well here for a year or two, and then gets another big move back to a top five league. We're going to try and help him with that. So before his debut for Anderlecht, Hazard says that he's very happy to be back home in Belgium and that he's looking to get back to his best at Anderlecht and most importantly, help this team win. So our next game is against Union SG. Now we're tied on points, but they're above us on goal difference. So this should be a more even game, I think. So let's see how Hazard does on his Anderlecht debut. Bro, like the old Hazard at Chelsea was such a good player. Like it's crazy, like the drop off. Now we're currently in ninth place. Well, our first game was a win. Let's see now second game with now Eden, if we can get our second win. Now this team I did see was actually pretty decent. So I do feel like this is going to be a much much tougher game and already already it's a terrible start we're down one nil okay this is the worst start imaginable i mean we were just caught off guard like we were way too flat-footed here not aggressive enough uh debas is not really marking that guy who scored so it's pretty poor all around I mean, last game we scored the first four minutes this time they scored all right that's a good tackle by debas you know a little recovery there now dolberg gets it to versharon now ashimino is making a run we're gonna go to the left back instead he's gonna go back to eden hazard which eden you cut inside eden it's not bad. He tries to go for a shot. Okay, he lost it. Yeah, you can just tell this team is uh, a bit of a different level above the last one. You can just tell. So this one is going to be rough and it's going to be 2-0. Now, this is the only bad thing about having Vertonghen in the back line. He's slow. Like, ball in the middle. Vertonghen. The recovery speed is just not really there. Okay, 2-0 down in 15 minutes. This is bad. Come on, we still got so much football in this game. We can definitely make a comeback. Dolberg out to Patrice where Dolberg's making a run here. Go try and find him. Hazard. Okay, that was actually heading towards Eden. Man, they're just passing it around us right now. There's like such a big difference in our defense from last game. All right, this is a decent chance though. Now, Dolberg, you should be a crossing target. It's just, can we deliver you good crosses? Okay, we have a free kick here. Is Dolberg shooting this or is Hazard? I might give this to Hazard actually, because I don't want to cross this. I think we're going to shoot this. All right, Eden. Now, if you score this, 
What a debut goal it'll be. Hey, oh, that was on target. The keeper couldn't even grab it. And that was actually not bad. Okay, bring it back in the box. Turn to Dolberg. Dolberg could get a chance to shoot, but he's not quick enough. Back to Dreer. Dreer has a chance to get a good cross in. Dolberg's there. Okay, that header was so bad, but the keeper tried to save it. Come on, another corner goal. Are we feeling it? Man, our corners look so dangerous. Ashimiru, we got to shoot this. It is blocked, and I'm very sad. Okay, good ball, but there is the recovery speed of Debas. Feels like I'm saying his name wrong. I actually have no clue. Dreyer up to Dolberg. Dolberg gets it. Ashimiru into Eden. Eden gets it into Casper Dolberg. Oh, man, he can't get a clean shot away. Okay, Diawara, great steal. Up to, that was supposed to go to Dolberg, and it went to none of our players. Good ball. Sorry, good ball. And they might get another chance to score here. Okay, the dragbacks are very... Are very, I don't even know what to call that. How does he drag it back, get around us, and still score? Okay, this is not going like the first game. It might be the same guy, too. This guy's torching us. Oh, like the drag backs, and like we can't mark him. It's so bad. 38 minutes. We are down 3 0. All right, we got to try and get back in this just one goal at a time now. Don't focus too much on the scoreline. Just try and push forward. Versharin gets it to Casper Dolberg, finds the angle, and Dolberg scores. It's 3 1. Okay, Dolberg doesn't want to grab the ball. We we're patient there, at least, though. I thought the chance was almost ruined, but Dolberg found the angle. All right, one goal at a time. 3-1. It's a very good response after conceding that third. All right, Vershiren has Hazard making a run. Now, that pass is actually not bad, but Hazard can't quite get it. Okay, halftime, 3-1. This game is not over, though. Now, if they score their fourth, then I might say something different, but 3-1. This game is still on. Eden gives it to Ashimiro. That's a good ball by Eden. We get a pass down the middle. It's going to be Vershiren into Dreyer. Goes for a shot. Keeper is going to save it. It was right at him. All right, this time, left side, Dreyer swings in the cross. Vertonghen. Oh, man, he was up for that. Eden, good first touch. Has a chance to shoot across goal, and it's just so many people in the way. Oh, man, that's such a good pass. This one guy is torching us so much. Please get a tackle, Vertonghen. Okay, I don't know how Vertonghen survived with the ball, but he did. Okay, it's for Scott and not for Sharon. I've been saying it wrong, but that's probably a lot of these names. You can't blame me. I don't know these players. I am not from Belgium. I do like Belgium a lot, though. And I also don't want to concede this fourth, which I'm trying to block the passes, but, oh, they're still going to score anyways. The defending is just so bad. Man, I'm so worried about the pass that I give the guy space. All right, 4-1, 56 minutes is not looking good in our second game. Hey, we don't stop fighting, though. Good ball to Hazard, Hazard. I know you have some good crossing. That's a very dangerous cross, actually. Now, we got a free kick. Hazard. Okay, this is hazard range. Eden, I feel like you can score this. So, decent amount of power. Eden, on his debut, goes for the shot. And, okay, he actually scored it, but where's the... We didn't get any, like, celebration. Eden scores a free kick on his debut. 23 meters out. Okay, Eden has still got that technical skill. What a free kick. Oh, man, debut goal, and that is a beautiful one. Now, it was ruined because we got no celebration, but... Hey, forward two, we have a chance now. Hazard has given us a chance. Man, that shows. He's still got it. But does our defense have it? Probably not. Oh, this is the same exact spot. Okay, same exact spot. That time we did better. Corner swung in. Debossed. Good clearance. Now, Verskaren is going to get that, and we can break. Oh, my. You've got to be joking. You've got to be joking. I don't even know what that was. I tried to pass it to the keeper. I tried something, but what was that pass? Okay, you you can't... I can't be blamed for that. What was that, actually? I tried to pass it. You can't even make that pass on purpose. Bro, that is how we can see the fifth. I can't believe that. 2-5 with 20 minutes left. And that one shouldn't even count. But okay, we face a better team. And our defense just looks like they are uh, not even there. Once again, we keep playing it to the final whistle. Hazard might have drier far post. He might. Dreyer, could he get it to Dolberg? Oh, man, it was a good idea. Didn't quite work. Out to Ndia. Ndia, gonna find. For Skarin. Oh, man, he can't get the shot away, though. Skarin is gonna get it out to Dreer. Good ball, Dreer. He get it back to Verskirin. He will shoot. Okay, what a shot. Bro, he is gonna be so good for us. Still doesn't want to grab the ball. But okay, 5, 3, 10 minutes left. I mean, is there a chance for one of the best comebacks, maybe of all time? At least in the Jupiler Pro League. Now, two subs, Treble, and then uh, Ramen both brought on. In the midfield, and then right wing. Gotta be quick, though. We only have like eight minutes left. And also, we can't concede here. That's a great tackle. Okay, we can break. Skirin into Ramen. Ramen, I know, is rapid quick. And you could see it a little bit there. Man, he needs help, though. Someone help this man out. Oh, Diawara. Man, why are we so far away from? each other there like guys i need you to be closer yeah we got a minute to score two goals i feel like robin happening but once again we play until the final whistle oh man hazard's kind of free there he is hazard gets in the box chance to shoot hazard it's gonna be saved all right i don't think it's happening but we could still make the scoreline better no we can't all right the defense absolutely did not show up today but hazard played well in his debut i think uh Verskarin still looks like a beast but the defending it might be an issue for us and this guy right here he just torched our whole team so after our first few games we we're still in 11th place now if our goal is to get into some kind of european competition we currently sit six points away from that hey, six points that's doable now moving to belgium we finally moved into our new house that is right we have a house in belgium and this is what it looks like i mean it's definitely not our miami apartment i'll say that here's the kitchen i mean 
mean, it's it's nice. It's a little dark, but the living room looks nice too. There's our bedroom. It looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying nice. This place is not exactly nice. Fergie's looking at us like, are we really staying here? Hey, like I said, we're far away from home. We'll make it work though. We're focused on the football anyways. Wage, our next game is against one of the better teams in this league again. We face Standard Liège in seventh place. Now, I'm thinking we should lower our depth a little bit so we've lowered it to 50 because obviously I don't want to concede five goals again. But we'll see if that helps out. But this team we're facing, they are no joke. So third game at Anderlecht, I'm hoping for a better game than the last one. On this game, it just needs to be better. We're already so far away from the top like four. We can't fall farther away. Man, I just don't trust my defense anymore. That one game has ruined my trust in the defense so much. All right, Dreyer's going forward. He's got space now. Hazard, he might collect that. He might. Tries to hit it Dolberg, but that was off the defender. Oh man, it's such a good pass. I'm trying to block. Trying to block the passes, but the keeper has got to get the near post. We're blocking everything but the near post. The keeper has to get that. Oh man, the ball in behind is terrible, but I thought we defended well after that. Am I being harsh or is such a good shot? I mean, no, the keeper has got to save that. He's got to get his near post. One nil down in 12 minutes. That might be our 72 or to keeper, maybe. Well, we can't be like last game and let this get out of hand, though. We got to get back in it quickly. Ball to Dryer. Dryer has Casper Olberg. Oh man, he was just tackled so well there. Okay, Dryer is making an insane run here. Gets it over to. Versus Scarin, good shot, but it's going to be saved. Come on, I could use another corner goal. I could use one. Dolberg is there, and Casper Dolberg. No, it's actually Patricia. Oh, it's our right back who scored that. Okay, I guess everyone in this team can score from corners. Okay, I'll take that. This game is 1-1. Man, Versharin, every corner he sends in, though, looks great. Yeah, Patrice, climbs for it. That is a beautiful header. Okay, 1-1, 24th minute. We are back in this game. All right, Ashimito. Gonna get it to Eden. Okay, he should have. Man, that pass has to get through. Gonna be a good steal by Dreyer. Now, can we go on a run? That's a great pass from the goal scorer, Pedris, into all oh, Dolberg, and he loses it. Man, that looked like a good move. Okay, we're looking a bit better, though. Now, defense-wise, not exactly. That's gonna be a power shot. Keeper, thankfully, saves it. Corner sent in for Standard Liège. That looks good, but we do get it out. Okay, D.O.R., I need a better clearance than that. Thankfully, he makes up for it with a great steal. Oh, that's going to be a shot. Okay, Keeper is making up for his past mistake. That's two good saves right there. Corner sent in. Get it out again. Okay. Oh, how does that fall in? you got to be kidding me. It is 2-1 to Standard Liège. I don't know how this actually got past us, though. The corner didn't even look that good. Now, Dryer's at the near post. I don't know why. He's kind of short, but... Oh, it just gets by. Then Keeper... I feel like he should be saving that. Am I being harsh to our keeper? Am I being harsh? No, keeper, you gotta save that. That is two goals this game. The keeper has gotta save. I mean, he's supposedly our best keeper. We have no other options other than him right now. I think January time, that might have to change. Now, I'm not gonna blame him last game for all those goals. That was more so the entire defense. But this game is a different story. Good tackle, and we do get the ball out. Fortunately, though, that's halftime. We're down 2-1. Come on, we can still make a comeback in this game. We can get back in it. Scoring goals seems to me not be our hugest issue. Ashimiru gets it over to Dolberg. Dolberg. And find okay. I don't know what I tried there. Went to the wrong player. Scarin's in a good spot. Gets it to Eden. Eden. Can he turn? He can. Goes for a shot. Oh, it's right at the keeper, though. He's looking for that far post. Man, this is just not good defending at all. Thankfully, that shot is terrible. Miru into Hazard. Hazard is gonna try to find Casper Dolberg. Good idea. Did not work. Miru is gonna find Eden. Eden. He's gonna stop in the box. Get it to Casper Dolberg. Could find the goal, and Casper Dolberg will score. Okay, we're back in this again. Great dribbling by Hazard. Great shot by Dolberg. Yeah, Hazard, that's a great move right there. Good shot, too. Okay, 60th minute. This is tied up. Can't let them just retake the lead immediately. I need my defenders to step up. It's going to be a free shot, and they're going to score, bro. Our, like, we have no cover. That's not the keeper's fault. That's our defender's fault. I mean, like, how are we defending this? The guy's just wide open. I feel like our fullbacks are having a lot of trouble marking the players. Once again, Liege take the lead 3-2. Feels like we tie it up, and they score immediately. Like, that is a momentum killer for us you think you're back in the game and all of a sudden you're down again hazard to dolberg you gotta do it again though and dia gets it to hazard but who's offside oh and dia was right, we're scaring great dribbling into ashimiru dolberg it's making a run not the greatest pass but gets it back to him could score that can't even get a shot away he was taken out there but i think the defender did get the ball all right 10 minutes we got three subs on we got ramen we got arnstad but if they score that free kick it might be game, and they do score the free kick. I was, like, so far out, bro. And ultimate, on our sliders, it seems like CPU to score every single free kick. Look, it's more so ultimate. Like, how far is this, and he still scores it? 29.5 meters out? That's, like, one of the best free kicks of all time. And they make it 4-2. That might seal our defeat. We got six minutes to try and do something here, which we are sprinting through. And Ramen, good. Get it to Dober. Dober gets it, but, oh, it's just defended well. Pass was too far behind him. We are trying Armstad into Dolberg. Dolberg. Oh, his first touch was actually just terrible. Eden gets it over. Armstad is gonna try to find Eden. Eden. Good. Pass in the box. Shot is gonna be blocked. I feel like this game is very unfortunate. I feel like we haven't even played that bad. It's just the keeper. Few mishaps, and then for every single mistake, 
We have been punished. Okay, all these shots are getting blocked. Get it out wide. It's going to be Kana, and his shot is uh, extremely far wide. Yeah, our defense needs to improve a lot, but I feel like this game, the keeper and a few things just very unfortunate and they were just more clinical so first game win second game loss third game not as bad a loss but still a loss we can see why this team uh, has been struggling now so now 11 points away from uh fourth place yeah there needs to be a big recovery in this team now a few days later we're in our office and we actually get a call from our former boss eric ten hug now he says congrats on the new job he says you got your hands full with that one but if you can turn this team around he says that his former contacts at ix are watching our progress closely and they might not be the only team watching us so i don't know if ix are like eyeing us for their next uh their next manager job if they are we get to show them we can actually manage a team in europe but our next game is against the third place team ghent like the tough games just do not stop like they're only three points off the top and it's also our final chance to see this team play before the january transfer window our last chance to assess the team i'd say now a few changes this game we're gonna go with different fullbacks and also ramen in at right wing come on if we could pull off a win against the third place team it would make those last two losses look a lot less uh i guess not as bad so it's a very big game our defense just needs to be better and also our keeper needs to be a little bit better as well obviously now this right back we have in he's actually a midfielder who can play pretty much anywhere and he is insanely quick so i feel like he uh, could be pretty good in this team man i just don't get how they just get through our defense so easily. Kana, a left back. Another like midfielder playing left back. You know, it's a good tackle at least. Oh, Vertonghen just falls asleep. Thankfully, he actually played him offside. I stand corrected. Goldberg tries to flip it up to Raman. Actually goes out to the onside player. He is going to cross it in. And that's going to be a, it's gonna be handball. Yeah, it is. Okay, this is basically like a little corner. So, Verskaren, I'm just going to try and just dink this up a little bit. Not bad, but okay, that's not exactly what I wanted. Oh, Vertonghen gets a foot in. No one can mark, though, and thankfully, Keeper makes a save. Okay, I'm making a change here. We're going to a 4 through 3 defense, so two CDMs and then Verskaren at camp, because they're just getting by us way too easily in the midfield right now in our defense. Having Astromiro maybe a little bit deeper should help, but I don't know if it helped that much. We just need to defend better as a team, which for Tongan, that is a little bit better. All right, Kana now can stretch his legs a little bit. Okay, Kana's pretty fast. Can we get into a dangerous spot hazard? chance oh man he's just overtaken there he's got no speed anymore goldberg out to ramen ramen could have a cross we're gonna try and take a touch Verskaren takes a touch and he also scores but he's gonna be offside oh that is so unfortunate such a good goal man i thought he was onside there oh diawada gonna get it to dolberg dolberg get it back to diawada he's gonna get it into ramen good find dolberg oh the keeper saved that at his feet that was like an almost open net how do we actually not score that come on where's my midfield okay that's a good ball for tongan for tongan okay that made me a little scared scaring to ramen the speedster he's gonna stop get it back to verse garen oh we gotta find the angle find it all out wide good ball get it back to verse garen now he's gonna cross it in to dolberg dolberg why wasn't he facing the right way it's actually a good cross okay ramen gets it into dolberg dolberg turns oh man he's just turning speed is just so slow chance not dead it though ramen gets it over to verscaren he will shoot and verscaren has scored this time he's on side oh, he might be the best player in this team okay scored first good start to the game kind of chaotic but you know what in the end we still scored 38th minute one nil to underleg i feel like having ashimudu level with diawara is actually helping so that could be a change very good one hazard plays it over oh verscaren actually keeps that somehow hazard get it back to someone gets it in for Skirin into Casper Dolberg but the shot is blocked and I don't trust like Dolberg's like agility in the box to try and find a better shot but okay halftime is one nil so far so uh I guess so good Dolberg Ashimito Dolberg is making a run and we find him oh man Ashimito's passing sometimes this is just so bad that wasn't even towards anyone that's a good ball come on boys defend defend please don't let them get back in this game that's such a good ball but keeper comes out for it. Vertonghen blocks it. Blocks it twice. And we barely survive. Oh, man. Verskirin. Oh, Ramen was so on there. Dolberg has space, though. Dolberg. Can we find Hazard? We can. Eat it. Hazard shoots. And Hazard actually scores. Oh, man. This man's career is getting revived. Now, we took a touch towards a little bit left. And I thought we ruined it. But Dolberg, great pass. Hazard, not the best angle. What a shot. That right there is classic Eden Hazard. More importantly, this game is 2 0. This game has got to be a win now. But Eden, love to see him score like that. You are a good steal or whatever that was from diawara he's having a much better game now saying that we still got to defend which that's gonna fall for tongan oh man the dribbling for tongan that is such a good tackle but somehow they keep it and then kana makes the second tackle man defense we are just sweating hazard now you're on side but you have no pace has a skill though gets it to dolberg dolberg back to eden this is what eden's good at these tight little dribbling plays dolberg shoots and keeper makes the save come on make this three nail for scaring i need to cross it is a good cross, but can't get to anyone. Are we shooting this? Diawara, we're shooting it. Oh, man, it goes over the net. I can't help it. We had to do it. All right, this is a good-looking chance for them. Vertonghen, a good tackle. And then Kana, good tackle, but it's dribbling. 
He loses it. Come on, don't concede off that. We made two good tackles. We don't deserve to concede off that. Kana, good recovery tackle. Okay, trouble on for Ashimudu and then Amuzu on for Ramen. 15 minutes, two goal lead. We got to secure this win. Dangerous though, just get the ball out, get the ball out. Tackle. Get the ball out. Our defense looks a lot more. Uh, I would say we're forming a wall right now, and Diarawa steals it. Man, they're pressing like crazy. I'm trying not to lose it. We're trying to be chill. Diarawa, good. Switch of the play. We got space here. No. Kana, no. That first touch was so bad. Oh, man. I saw the 3-0 right there. Okay, Hazard's being, uh, he was being held right there. What was that? Okay, I tried to make a tackle to steal the ball, but that was a shot. Yeah, seven minutes for Tongan. Should get that he does. Should be. Okay. That is, I'll admit it. I'll admit it right now. That is definitely my mistake. Don't score for please. Thank you. They don't. Okay, let's not do that again. That's handball though. I am never ever doing that pass again. Come on, three minutes. This would be such a big win. Okay, that pass was terrible though. That was supposed to be a through ball. What was that? Now Vertonghen gets beat because what else can he not do? And that, oh, okay. Did boss with a goal saving tackle there. That was actually incredible. Oh, Casper, great touch. Kind of ruins it. You know what? It's wasting time. We got 30 seconds. I think we've done it. Man, this is going to be our most convincing win by the scoreline of today. But you know what? We had to fight so hard for that. But hey, after two tough losses, we just beat one of the best teams in this league, proving that we can make a recovery with this team. Now, I think the fullback changes and the formation change helped. So we may have figured something out. We're definitely going to stick with the 4-3-3 defend for now. Now, there is still a long road to get to like the top four. But that win is a very large step in the right direction. Now, next episode is the January transfer window. We got 18 million to spend. Leave in the comments, how do we improve this team? Who should we sign? Because if we want to make Anderlecht the best team in Belgium again, this team definitely needs a bit of help. But drop a like if you want to see more of this series. We got a new Zlatan player career episode over on Tizer Plus, where Zlatan makes his biggest transfer yet. Click on screen for that. And as always, hope you guys have a great day.